Have you ever considered the role of Mary in our spiritual journey towards the ultimate destination of heaven? It is said that in a mystical sense, we reside within the womb of the Holy Mother, and that it is through her that we shall be delivered into the loving arms of our Heavenly Father under the guidance of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. However, the act of abortion, which takes the life of an innocent being, strikes at the very core of this profound belief. Join us in an upcoming podcast where we shall explore these critical questions with brevity and insight. Don't miss out on this important discussion. Behold the grand tapestry of our salvation history, wherein the arrival of divinity into this world through the pure vessel of Mary forms an indispensable thread. When Christ was born of her humble womb, she cradled him in her loving arms, and it is believed that we, mere mortals, are also carried into the radiant realm of heaven through her. It is by her grace that we may access Christ. It is noteworthy that God could have dispatched Christ to earth fully formed, like a heavenly courier with a package. Yet he chose to emphasize Mary's importance by allowing Christ to mature within her. This illustrates Mary's pivotal role in bringing Christ into the world. Similarly, on our journey towards eternal peace in heaven, Mary's gentle guidance and nourishment are essential. Her indispensable role in the divine entry into this world makes her the celestial guide of our ascent to the heavenly realm. She nurtures and guides our souls towards spiritual rebirth and ultimate deliverance, just as she did for Christ. She gives birth to Christ, and she gives birth to us into heaven. The metaphor of a baby in the womb perfectly encapsulates the nature of Christ's growth within Mary, who shielded and fostered him until he was ready to enter the world. Likewise, the faithful are believed to be spiritually reborn into eternal life under Mary's vigilant eye. However, it is vital to keep in mind that Christ remains the central figure in this narrative, and it is through his self-sacrifice and glorious resurrection that we can attain eternal life in heaven. Abortion, on the other hand, represents a direct assault on this divine plan, echoing the devil's desire to thwart our rebirth into eternal life. The tragedy of an aborted baby does mirror the loss of a soul cast into the fiery abyss of hell. For those who serve Satan, abortion is a blood sacrifice offered to their dark lord, drawn from the life force of the innocent. This ghastly tribute empowers Satan to ensnare and condemn a soul to mortal sin and ultimate ruin beyond the reach of God's mercy and forgiveness. Meditate on what this podcast tells you. Mary's role in this divine scheme is crucial. She is the key to our redemption, cradling and guiding our growth into our higher selves. We are all a part of Mary's spiritual pregnancy, like infants in her bosom. Mary is our spiritual mother, whose guidance is as vital to our journey towards God's glory as a mother's tender care is to the growth of her child.